Well, congregation, our offering this morning is for Faith Formation Ministries. That is a denomin denominational, excuse me, ministry uh, of the Christian Reformed Church in North America. And can I really encourage you to look up the Faith Formation website? Their focus is helping churches and individuals and families um, and all kinds of people to develop their faith, hence the term faith formation. And this is something that all Christ followers need to take seriously. Jesus himself tells us that we are to work out our salvation in fear and trembling and that we are to strive to be built up together into the fullness of Christ who is our head. And particularly this year, when we, at least for, for now, cannot have in-person children's programs, um, and we cannot have uh, programs like GEMS or cadets uh, run the same way that they would normally be, uh, it is really important, not only for parents of, of smaller children, but it is really important for all of us to actively seek to grow our faith. And the folks, the good folks at Fa Faith Formation Ministries, they have put together all kinds of toolkits that will help. They have just almost unlimited resources connected together in the toolkit that you can look at and that you can uh, search through to find out ways that you can help yourself uh, to grow with the power of the Holy Spirit in you um, and ways that you can help your family to grow and ways for us as older individuals to grow, ways for us as uh, women or men or whatever uh, to grow. It is invaluable stuff. It is so good. So check out the Faith Formation uh, Ministries website, and uh, please consider whether there are resources there that, uh, that you should be taking advantage of for your family or for yourself or whatever. Uh, you will hopefully be hearing more about uh, fall ministries and what they may be looking like in the next uh, few weeks. There are lots of wheels turning and people trying to figure out uh, what can be done. Um, as it stands right now, as I mentioned, we will not be able to do in-person Sunday school, either during church or before church. Uh, we will not be able to do in-person nursery services. Um, we will not be able to do in-person cadets or gems ministries. In the meantime, I know that the various ministry leaders are thinking and working on what kinds of things we can do. So check out not only Faith Formation Ministries, but also keep in mind that you should hopefully be hearing more about fall ministries from our congregation as well. Um, now, uh, in terms of other things to pray for, we have a couple of weddings coming up this week fall, Lord willing, and uh, so hopefully uh, Darcy and April, Darcy Slack and April DeYoung, uh, and also, Lord willing, Ryan Prosper and Alicia Newman. They both hope to be married this fall in October, and so I would encourage you to pray for these young couples. We also have going on, hopefully in a little while, we will have a baptism as well. We are hoping to baptize uh, we are hoping to baptize Charlotte Treemstra, and so uh, pray for that as well. Now, let us come to God in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, thank you so much for bringing us together today. Lord, we pray that you will be with the work of Faith Formations Ministries from the denomination. Lord, we pray that not only would you be with them as they continue their work trying to encourage people to grow in their faith and equip them with the tools that are needed for that, Lord, we pray that you will also 
take these our tithes and offerings and that you will bless them to your service that all of us may grow in our uh, maturity in Christ, that we may grow in learning how to serve you and serve others in Jesus' name. Father, we pray as well for this congregation and for all the surrounding congregations in this area as we try to discern uh, how we can do ministry in the fall. Uh, Lord, thank you so much for the creative minds and the hearts that are just so much wanting to serve you and serve one another and serve this community. Lord, we pray that you would bless those leaders, Lord, that you would, whether, if there is, if there are new leaders needed, excuse me, Lord, we pray that you would, uh, you would bring forth those new leaders and inspire them with creative ideas about how to lead uh, ministries here at Athens CRC and throughout North America and throughout the world. Father in heaven, we pray also that you will be with all of our families, O oh God, whether they are young families or whether they are older folks who have gone through child rearing or whatever structure a family may take, anything from one person to dozens of people. Lord, we pray for those families. We pray that you would bless them. We pray that you would guide them. We pray that as they consider options for schooling in the fall, or maybe they've already made that decision, we pray that you will be with them in those decision-making processes. We pray that you will help them also, all of our families, to grow in faith. Lord, help us as parents, grandparents, and brothers, and sisters, and aunts, and uncles, help us all to remember that we do not grow just by accident or just by sitting around and waiting for it to happen, but rather, O oh God, that we grow as we live out your command of love. We grow as we study your scriptures. We grow as we love one another and as we love you. And so, Lord, help us, O oh God, to actively teach one another, to disciple one another, to form faith in one another. Father, we pray too, speaking of forming our faith, we pray that you will speak through the scriptures and through the message that you bring us today. May we honor you as we listen to your word and as we hear what you have to say to us today. We pray this all and ask as well that you would be, almost forgot, that you would be with those young families who either have just had children, who are, uh, who are um, growing those children up, or who are getting married soon. Lord, we pray that you will bless them as well. We pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen.